almost there, just the emergency. Dr. Sheldon Cheskis, Medical Director at Sunnybrook Center for Pre-Hospital Medicine, and I'm the Principal Investigator for the AED on the Fly Research Program. Drone Delivery Canada is a, uh, is a leader in the use of drone technology. Uh, we came in contact with them a number of years back, and we said, hey, can we partner on this particular process where we use your technology, we use our research know-how, work together to actually make this happen. So when we got together with them, we said, hey, can you develop a drone that will actually allow us to carry an AED within that drone and deliver it with very good precision to the area that we need it to be in a rural community. So that's how it all started, and we've been doing the work ever since. So where we're at right now is we've done some test flights uh, in the town of Caledon, so a rural community in southern Ontario. And what we've done is we've shown that actually a drone can get to the location of a cardiac arrest quicker than an EMS vehicle coming from the same location over a similar distance. So we know that now it's actually feasible. This can happen. What we need to do is now fine tune it. How can we make the time as short as possible for the drone? How do we actually interact between the bystander on the scene taking an AD out of the drone and making that as simple as possible? So now it's all about uh, making it work in real life situations. To me as a scientist, it was an incredible day because I've done so much work in the research which is saying, hey, mathematically this should work. But in real life it works, so to see a drone fly through the sky, get to the scene prior to the EMS vehicle, to see my paramedics in a mock scenario deliver shocks prior to EMS getting there, it was like everything that I thought could happen is actually really happening in real life. So it was a special day to see it in real life. The inspiration for this whole project came from the knowledge that people who had cardiac arrest in rural areas were not surviving at the same rate as people in urban areas. And the reason is simple, we just can't get to them fast enough. So the idea of sending a drone to the site of a cardiac arrest was incredibly intriguing and the reason that we're doing this particular research. We know that cardiac arrest survival drops by 10% for every minute of delay in cardiac arrest response time. So if you think in a rural area, 10 minute response time, your chance of survival is close to zero. If I can get a drone there in five minutes, I've doubled the patient's chance of survival. That's the key in this type of technology, getting there quicker. My relationship with Drone Delivery Canada has been superb. They've been with us every step of the way. They've helped us in the planning, and much of this planning is very, very intricate, and they've been superb with it. They've allowed us to move forward with each step of our project and realize our end goal of doing this for a real 911 call to save lives. Drone Delivery Canada. Innovation is taking flight.